I'm here to share with you the strategy that can transform your marriage in record time and permanently once and for all. If you follow God's strategy for your marriage, you will experience God's blessings. So if you have been going through a difficult time in your marriage, you've been struggling, you've been having more arguments, you are wondering if this is what you signed up for, and maybe you're getting to your middle ages, children are in the university, and you're wondering, is this the time to exit this marriage? What is going on here? I want to share with you ways that you can change your marriage and change it for good. In addition to prayer, of course, as believers, we understand that there is a spiritual part to anything that we do. And so we're not, we're not going to just work on strategy. We're going to add the strategy to the prayer so that we can see a miracle. There are three components to miracles. And, and I shared that with you last week. There's confidence in God that triggers prayer and spiritual power to be released. There's strategy of God that if you follow, you will speed up the manifestation of your miracle and there is consistency so that when you know the strategy and you have confidence in it you don't stop you keep going until you get a result so this week we're working on strategy and i've been sharing that and i know that today we're going to talk about your connection with god tapping into god's power to overcome the atta attacks of the enemy and to trigger the transformation you want in your spouse. Sometimes what you just need is a is another opinion from someone who is not emotionally involved in the challenge that you're going through. And if that's the case, I want to be that. I want to help you in that area. My goal is to see more and more people changed, transformed in their marriages so that they can impact more people in their lives and i believe that if you're watching me right now you're watching this video um, it's because god wants to use you to bless your family and everyone around you everyone around you will be blessed when you surrender to the holy spirit and you begin to operate the love of god as a strategy for uh, fruitfulness and impact in your life you will you will see god move i want to get you up this merit pyramid from the red zone to the blue zone i want you to be in the blue zone where you are 90 percent of the time joyful and peaceful in your life and your marriage 90 percent of the time you are you have joy and peace in your interactions with everyone including your wife as a husband or your husband as a wife right and uh, most people like i shared with you earlier most people are in the red zone where there's just 10 percent or zero percent of joy or peace in the marriage and they are struggling and wondering how can i move up this mountain or pyramid and, and i want to say to you it doesn't matter how long you've been sliding down, you can go back up. This is the whole essence of what I share. You can go back up this pyramid from no hope to struggling and from struggling to growing, from growing to soaring or thriving. All you need to do is apply God's strategy. And what's the name of God's strategy? It's agape. Now I've put it together over uh, for the past 20 years, as I've been learning in my marriage, I've been married for 20 years this year. And uh, as a pastor since 2005, I've worked with so many marriages and so many people. And I've put all of these things together that I've learned into what I call the love workout method. But it's just God's strategy. I didn't invent this. This had, this had been there for thousands of years. How to navigate the complex nature of loving someone as you love yourself and working together as one. 
Now, what does that look like when you're in the blue zone, when you're thriving in your marriage? What does it look like? Just a small snippet of it. I, I can't describe all of it here. Just wanted to show you. The first thing is that you have a spouse who loves you and respects you. Looking forward to hearing from you. Enjoys your, your company. Uh, is, feels blessed to be married to you. And uh, appreciates that. You have you you have children who look up to you and they are doing well. When you are in the right space in your marriage, you would experience even the impact in your children. They feel comfortable, they feel loved, they feel that they can be creative without being shut down. You have children who are growing. You have joy in your heart because you're making disciples for Jesus. So you're not just happy with one another you're also happy with your life in general you go you you're beyond just the normal you 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 have the big picture you're enjoying the big picture you have a deep connection with your spouse in every way spirit soul and body and you have more money because your business is doing well that's what being in the right place looks like so i want to show you this strategy and that you need to move up this pyramid and the the strategy is here um here three steps and each step is broken into three subsets today we're going to talk about connection and when i mean connection i'm talking about connection with god so why do we always start with heart because when you are not well you cannot perceive properly when you are struggling, you can't see your spouse properly. You're seeing them with the wrong, with lenses on. Whenever I want to help a person in their marriage, I always remind them, let's make sure that you are not drowning because many of the symptoms of a marriage problem is as a result of a drowning spouse. When one is drowning, they try to grab hold of the other person and they try to pull the other person under and both begin to drown. And so that's why we teach you to check what's going on with you. And if you notice that you're drowning, we fix that. If you're not drowning and your spouse is trying to drown you, then you, you disconnect from that temporarily so that you can then have the right space to help them. So if you have recovered your yourself, your heart, you, you, you discover that your joy level has moved from wherever it was to about six, seven out of 10, then you're good. You've, you've worked a lot on your heart. Now, if you've dealt with that, but you still notice that there's still problems in your marriage, and of course, they may still be, you now need to check your relationship with God. And to start trans, you know, transforming yourself in that area, the first thing I always ask you to do is remove the mask, at least in front of God. What do I mean by that? To remove the mask, to be yourself before God, to expose your thoughts to God, to expose your errors to God. To show to God that, you know what, I'm not all that I claim to be. Step number two is so important, connection with God. You take out the log from your own eyes. And how do you do that? You do that by removing the masks. What's the log? What is it that is in your life that's not aligned with God? How are you using those habits that you're saying, I don't want to use anymore? And as you do that, you're going to see some transformation. If you have not downloaded my friendship rebuilding cheat sheet, so you want to rebuild friendship in your marriage, just like I said, that level, that top level, and you don't know what to do, I have a cheat sheet for you. It's a PDF document and it's just one page you can look at it and it will change it will remind you of everything that you need to do to rebuild friendship uh, and uh there's a video that that comes with that i want you to go and download it for free it's adisobanja.com slash friends adisobanja.com slash friends you can get it for free now when you do that you also get my email you can ask me questions and i'll be able to answer you i really congratulate you and encourage and, and thank you for taking the time to uh, go through this training up to this time 
and uh, i look forward to seeing you um take more action as you pray so god bless you once again uh continue to love like jesus and make mega impact bye for now